I'm going down the hill a little bit and there's another mine here. Not very much tailings, but we're here. Figured we'd check it out. And I got a little bit of a flashlight, just my phone flashlight, but and there's a lizard. Hopefully it's enough. Actually didn't really think we'd be going in any mines today. Doesn't look like it goes down very far. shoring or wood fell down here and it's ended up showing up a little bit. Doesn't appear to go very far. That's it. Nothing too awesome again, but the other one is definitely cooler. But feel free to check it out. All right, well, still got some cabins to go check out too. Maybe some other stuff that we haven't been to yet, but we saw on the map, so. Go check out that stuff next. Okay, now we made our way over to where the cabins are. This is actually kind of a popular spot, but it's really pretty. It's, the entrance here is through a bunch of willows. Had to pull my mirrors in. And then it's kind of a little grassy spot. Pretty cool spot if you wanted to camp. And that's just fed by snow melt. Sometimes it's flowing. sure how old these cabins are over here. I read at one time they weren't super old, but I don't know. A lot of them, well, I guess two of them have fallen down. That says oh, 89. Still cool though. Somebody put the effort in here. Rock and concrete. Beautiful spot. Kind of pin for something, I guess. Animal pin, maybe. Doghouse? <laughs> it's been chewed. I'm not cutting that out. <laughs> yeah, stuff's falling down. Another pin. Hmm. 
This is falling down. Some kind of sort of dry stack wall there. More piled. Hmm. Such a gorgeous day. But this place is even prettier, well, I guess I know it is, with more with the leaves. It'd be nice if the stream was running. Whatever this was. Hmm. And then another little shack over here. I'm gonna call it a cabin or a shack, but Gonna fall down soon, sadly. Who knows how soon, but at least we get to explore before it does. Let's try to leave everything the way you found it and respect it. That's it for this little area. I think this had a door on it last time I was here. Maybe not. But there might be some more over there we're gonna go see. There's some like corrals over there. So let's see what else is around here. Alright, so I think I said that a lot when I start these videos. But there was nothing left. No other cabins over there, just some corrals and some stuff way back in the, the sticks that the cows are messing with some water but nothing else really cool so we stopped over here at the bottom side of the, the other mine that was up there gonna check this one out really quick not much tailings but see what's in there it's probably gonna be the last video for today so let's see what's in this thing here need to see about getting a really good bright flashlight This one looks kind of cool. Guessing that's the end of it. Maybe, maybe not. No. That's the end of it. Yeah, okay. So it goes back a little bit, but. Not too much going on here. And since my other videos aren't very good on sound, I do have to say, you should not go in mines. You do remember, you're taking all responsibility for that and you shouldn't be, technically shouldn't be in there. Make sure you're prepared. Make sure you know what you get yourself into. Most, if not all mines are dangerous. There's always cave-in risks. Could be straight down shafts. So, those signs are there for a reason on the outside, remember that. So I guess that's going to be it for today. This one's pretty cool, short, but kind of cool how the top is pointed like that. It's not a square, square shaft. So, for thanks for coming along with Camo Adventures today. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe. Got a lot more stuff in store. We're doing some local stuff lately, but a lot of stuff in store for this summer. So thanks for watching.